Okay. So this first call, Kev, is, is again, going over the, the basics, but, but just really touching on the most important things that you'll ever click on. Because as you come to this ads manager, it can be very, very overwhelming. And as you mentioned, it's all trial and error, unless you know what the hell you're doing. And, and that's what we're going we're gonna to learn. We're going to learn what, what to do right now on this call, because at the end of it, at, at the end of the day, when it comes to this whole platform, there's only seven things you'll ever click on buttons, tabs, whatever you want to call it, but there's only seven tabs you'll ever, ever click on. And so we're going to bookmark those so you can have them up in a folder and always be able to re reference them right away. You want to be able to get to them right away. And so this is one of them. So let's start here. And, and also one, one thing too, you want to make sure you're always in the right account. So that, that drop down up there at the top where it says Kirk Mason, that uh -huh. 11249, is that the account that you're running everything out of? Yeah. Um, so th there's a person in Los Angeles area. She's someone of a Facebook person. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't really want to um, create a, a Facebook profile for myself, but I need to have a business account. So Kirk okay. Mason is, is something fictitious, okay. but it's, it's tied to my business account, which is Kevin, my vet. That okay. makes sense. Yeah, for sure. So, so that's the account we'll work out of that one. And then real quick before we dive into it, all those blue, all those blue, 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 uh, you know, tabs or, or little toggles or whatever you want to call them. Those ads are off, but what you want to get in the habit of is shading them to gray. So they completed whether they ran its course on the budget or whether they ran, ran its course on the, on the date and they're, and they completed, they're off. But, but get in the habit of, of turning them to gray. So oh. that first one or that third one down, sellers in Los Angeles, like the one that completed uh -huh. $10 daily. Let's just, let me just show you how to do it. So turn it to gray right there. Uh -huh. and, and you got three tabs. So as we go through and learn more, it's always about these three tabs, right? The tab that you're in now is campaigns. The middle tab is ad sets. And then the third tab to the right is ads. So as you click on that green button and you go and create an ad, everything is in these tabs. So this campaign tab, go ahead and shade that one to gray, that blue one right there. Go ahead and click that and, and shade that to gray. And then click okay. on the middle tab, shade it to gray over there in the middle tab. Yeah, click on that middle tab right there and then shade that one to gray. And then let's click on that third tab and, and shade that to gray. So that blue right there, that blue dot, click that blue dot. Oh, right here? Yeah, the blue dot. Click that one. Uh -huh. and, sh and, then, and then click on the third tab to the right, ads for one ad set. Click on that one and shade that to gray as well. That's how you fully turn off an ad. Like it's oh, already okay. off, like you're not spending money on it or anything, but you want to be able to come into your dashboard and you want to, whenever you see blue, you want to know that that ad's on. Whenever you see gray, you know for sure it's off. But when you come in here and you see a bunch of blue, it can kind of get confusing. You'll start seeing blue and those blues are off, but then you have other ones that are on and it's all blue. So now you're trying to figure out, okay, which ones are really on because they're all blue. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so get in the habit of shading them all gray when they, when they're off, shade them all to gray. And then all you do is just X out of the one selected at the top, the blue on each tab X out one selected, one selected, one selected, and just, and then, and then, yeah, click out that third one to the right, that one selected, and then and then just come back to that first campaign tab. So that blue one selected, click X out that one to the right, right above. No, I can't see it because the the cam oh, there it is. The oh yeah, move that. You can move that thing out the way. Get that thing okay, way out you. the way. Perfect. So now come back to the first tab, and that's just what you want to do later on. Like come in here and and shade all of those on each tab. Shade them all to gray. Because again, as you start to run act, active ads, you're going to get confused on which one is really on. Okay. You know? So just to do a quick recap of this. So like, basically let's, let's do this one. So you go like this. Shade it to gray, turn, click on the middle tab, leave the box checked, click on the middle tab, shade that to gray. And then click on that first tab and shade that to gray to the, to the left from the first campaigns to the left. <clears throat> right there to the left. So you turned off that one. <clears throat> now turn on, go to the first tab, campaigns, the first tab up. <clears throat> yeah, click right there and then shade that one to, um, to, to gray. So <clears throat> you just want to start doing that with, with all of them, okay? 
I have to go to this one and select this <clears throat> as for one ad set. No, you'll you'll start with the first one with campaigns. You'll you'll start on that okay. one, and then you'll go from from left to right. So this fourth one down, lead generation for condo Lawndale. You'll start here. You'll shade that blue to gray, and then you'll go to the middle tab, and then you'll go to the tab to the right. Okay, so all three at the top, right? Yes, the tabs. Yep, campaigns, okay. ad sets, ads. But you start with checking that, or st start with that blue one. Shade that blue one to gray. The fourth one down. Uh, this one. Yeah. So shade that to gray, and then go to the middle tab, and there it is. There again. Shade that to gray, and then go to the third tab and shade that one to gray. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then you can just X out one selected, one selected, one selected. Yeah. From, from, from right to left. Now we come back to the left. Perfect. Perfect. Hit that one. And then now click on that first campaigns tab. Cause you're in the third tab. So click right there and then, and then you can keep going down. Oh, I see. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, um, and then also, whenever you see that blue button in the top right, review and publish for, you always want to clear that out. So let's take a look at what's, what's, what's there pending or what's stuck. Whenever there's an ad that's stuck, then, then you'll see that, that, that publish review and publish blue button lit up. So right here, it's just telling you, you have one ad with errors. Items with errors may not be published. So it just gives you a, go ahead and check the box to the bottom left, try to publish items with errors, and then hit the green one. Actually, so it's not it's not letting you yet. So all we gotta do is just turn it off. We gotta just turn it off. I don't know which ad that is, but go ahead and click on fix error. The um, yeah, click on that, and that will actually bring you to where. And if anything, this is the the third tab. So over here, to make edits to the ad budget and schedule. Okay, so it's just the calendar. The, the budget and schedule section of your ad set and change the end date. So so anytime you have any error, whether whether it's the date, whether it's it's the um, credit card, whether it's your targeting, whatever, you'll just see you'll see it there in the top right. So in this case, if you click on so so our tabs, it's all about those tabs, right? It's all about those tabs, but those sections are also right there in the top. So right there you got sellers in Los Angeles 90016. Mm -hmm. And then the second one down, you have sellers in Los Angeles. And then the second one down, right there, where the where the red triangle is at, to the left, up left, that 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 right there, those are our to the left, those are our tabs right there to the left, up there at the top too, but to the left, to the left, left left right there down, right uh -huh. there, those are our three tabs. Okay. So so right here we're in the third tab, and the third tab is the ad. So. What it's just telling you is it's telling you that the, the date, so click on the top in the middle, sellers in Los Angeles, that's your second tab. So this right here, it's saying that the date has already passed. Like, let's scroll down, scroll down. Let's go look at the calendar. So that calendar is just a little off right here. So September 1st to September 8th. So that's 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 what's what's going on with this one so all we want to do is just delete it we're going to delete it anyways i mean or just fully turn it off okay. so and, th and that's why you have those errors because the dots are still blue so it's still oh, picking see. up it's still picking up that you're still trying to run this ad oh i see so we want to make sure that they're gray we want to fully shut them off gray 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 all across so let's just x out of here that's fine let's x out of this and then you'll just Later on, just come back in here and and, sh and turn all those blues to gray. Okay. Okay. So X out right there. Okay, perfect. So here's what we're going to do. Let's start now. So it's all about knowing what to click on and where to click on everything. So I'm going to have you bookmark the most important pages. And as we go into our next future calls, we'll go into all of those pages and really, really, you know, deck them all out and, 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 and put everything we need to put into them. But I want you to bookmark them. Um, right now, because again, they'll be the only pages you'll ever need to, to know of. So let's bookmark this page. It starts here and let's create a folder at the top. Can you create a folder at, and do you have a bookmarks bar at the top where you can bookmark stuff? Uh, so bookmark is this right here. Yeah. But what we want to do, is we want to create a folder. So hit that. Yeah. In fact, you can do it there. And then let's just go, let's go new folder. Click on, um, click on more, click on more right there and see if you can. Yeah. New folder. Perfect. Right there. So hit new folder, 
click on new folder and we're going to name this one ads manager. And we're going to dump a bunch of stuff inside of this folder. So this is your ads manager folder and you'll always be able to, you know, re ref, um, re refer back to this for, for all of your ads. So ads manager FB perfect save. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, um, okay. So hit that check or hit that star again. Let's see. Let's make sure it was in there. Um, Perfect. Ad, okay, perfect. So now we're going to name it. Now we're going to name it and we're going to name this one dashboard. So it's in the right folder. Let's just rename it. So take away the ads manager, manager ads, ad, yeah, take away all that and just name it dashboard. This is your dashboard. So you'll always be able to get to this real fast and just go ahead and, just go ahead and hit done. Okay, perfect. So now what's really, really important too, man, next to bookmark is our billing. But, but, but also knowing the billing date, knowing when your billing date, date is, because the last thing you want, man, is to wake up and Facebook swaps, you know, slaps your credit card for a fee that you weren't expecting. Like that's happened to me many times. That's why I, I, I think it's important because you don't want to be surprised with a, with a Facebook, Facebook charge. So click on those dots to the left in the top left. You see those dots right below the, the, the home. Yeah, there you go. Let's go to billing real quick. Knowing the billing date is very, very important. And then, and then making sure that that credit card that's on file is always good to go because Facebook ads, it's like a click on payment settings to the right. Facebook ads is like, it's like a damn credit report, man. It's not, it, not in a way where, where, where there's negative marks for anyone to see, you know, discharges mm -hmm. or anything like that. Click on payment settings in the top, right. But, but, but when you start missing payments or, or when a credit card fails, Facebook kind of slaps you in a way where they lower your threshold and they like, like right now, I don't know if, you, well, well, we could see what your threshold is. Click on manage. Oh, uh, okay. So your threshold is 75 bucks and you want to keep it there. Like, like, for example, not knowing a credit card billing date or, or maybe not having the right credit card on file. And if that credit card fails when that on, on your billing date, that threshold goes down to 25. And then all that means is that you start getting a bill every 25 bucks. And if you don't mind that, then whatever. But but I don't, I kind of rather have one bill a month. And, and that's on your December 31st, for example. Mm -hmm. But but if, if you miss a payment, then that 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 threshold drops and you'll start getting a bunch of payment payments every every 25 bucks, which I kind of don't like. So that's that's fine right there. 75 bucks, leave it at that, X out of that, and just bookmark this page. Bookmark this page. Know that credit card that's on file. Know your billing date every 31st and just call this one billing. And if you ever need to change that card, you can do it right there. So let's let's name this one billing. So this is going to go inside this folder? Yeah, that's the folder, ads manager, FB. So how do I enter the folder? It's already there. It's already there. So all you got to do is just rename it. Ads manager, just name it billing. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into, go ahead and click done. And then let's click on the dots to the left and let's go into the business settings. Let's make sure all that stuff is up to date. And this is all the important stuff before we even learn how to run these ads. You got to, you got to have all this stuff in order. So yeah, business settings. And let's go ahead and bookmark this page right here as well. So in here, in here is where you can always add yourself to different pages. Yeah, name this one business settings. That's fine. Business settings. And then let's click on, let's click on ad accounts right there towards the bottom in the middle to the left, ad accounts. Click on ad accounts. Okay, so ads account disabled. All ad accounts owned by this business account are disabled and new ones can't be created. Okay, so hit that hit that drop down right where it says your name. See how and this is another thing too. As you navigate Facebook, sometimes they'll throw you or a lot of times they'll throw you in a different account. And mm -hmm. so you'll always want to come up here to the top, hit that drop down and make sure you're in the right account. See, so by default it just threw you back in the Kevin one when we should be in the Kirk one. You see that? Yeah. But um the, the Kirk one, I don't, well, 
The, the Kirk one is fictitious. Does that matter? Or no, no, not at all. That's where you're running everything out of. So let's 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 stay in there then. So okay. Yeah, so the Kirk one, go ahead and hit that drop down, hit Kirk. Yeah, that's where you're running all your ad, all your ads out of. So it's this one that we need to bookmark. So okay. I thought he was running the ads. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, so Kirk is where we want to be at. And so let's let's go to the folder real quick. Where's your where's your folder at? The the bookmarks folder. I think we might have been saving a few a few of these pages in the Kevin account when we need to be in this Kirk one. Okay. Here's the folder. Okay. Hit, hit, actually hit, let's um, X out of that real quick. Where's the, hit those, um, hit those three dots to the right. Those three little dots up above on your browser up right there, hit those and go down to go down to where's your bookmarks go down. Um, uh, favorites yeah see if it might be favorites okay so where's the ads manager favorites bar um scroll don't, down and see if see you're, scroll down and see if your ads met if your folder's down there a little further um that folder should oh, be there it is at the bottom okay so let's let's grab that yeah, and it's probably at the bottom ad yeah okay so click on it Okay, so let's get let's go ahead and hover over. You don't got to click on it, but but scroll to the left and hover over hover over business settings and right click, just right click and delete it. And then hover over dashboard and delete it. And then that third one to ads manager. What about billing? No. It might be billing too, because I think we were in that we were in your Kevin account. So let's go ahead and yeah, we'll just go to do it again. Delete it. Yeah, we'll we'll do it all over again. It's no big deal. So let's 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 get out of here and let's just bookmark right here. So we're in Kirk Mason. We're in the right account. We got to bookmark this one. Bookmark this one. Name it dashboard. Now let's click on the dots to the left and let's go to audiences. Now we're gonna get into some details. So. This right here, man, is, is where your ROI is really at with Facebook advertising. Let me just make that clear. Like your, your ROI is going to come from retargeting these audiences. So as we go in, we'll get more into the audiences on call number three, but that's where your money's at. It's when okay. people are, are, are watching your videos and or when people are landing on your pages. So if you're running an ad and I click on that ad and I go over to your page to give up my name and email because I'm interested in a listing or I'm interested in a seller guide or whatever it is, people who are landing on these pages need to be put into a bucket. Each, each action, whether you're watching my video, you're in a bucket. Whether you're on my landing page, you're in a bucket. Whether you schedule an appointment with me on my online calendar, you're in a bucket. These buckets are audiences. So as you start to run ads, you're going to always retarget these people or exclude them. Like, for example, if I go to let me share, let me share my screen real quick. Let me let me show you show you this real quick as an example. These custom audiences are the most, most important, man. So, for example, if I'm running a Facebook ad and, I, and you click on that ad, let's actually let's 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 go to the real. Let's let's really go from the beginning. So if I'm over here on Facebook. Am I supposed to see your screen or? Yeah, go ahead and, and stop share on your end. You should you should see my screen. Okay. Okay. So let's say I'm over here on Facebook and I'm just scrolling through, scrolling through, seeing what everyone's up to. And then I come across a sponsored ad. This guy right here, Joel. Okay, there's the text. There's the video. There's the learn more button. This video is a four minute and 41 second video. Now, what he's doing right now, because I, I, I know of this guy, I know, I know this guy knows what he's doing. What he's doing right now is as I sit here and I watch 20 seconds, he already has me in a custom audience. Those are people who watch 20 seconds of his Corey's Marketing Agency video. Like that could be the title of it. That's literally the title of his custom audience, probably. Very basic. The name of the video and, and, and everyone who's in this audience are people who watched 40 seconds of it. Mm -hmm. 
Now, that's crazy powerful because now what's going to happen is he knows that X amount of people watched 50 seconds of it. And for me to sit here and watch 50 seconds of anything, that's a long time in social media world. It's a long time. So, so those are people who sat here. You stop their scroll. As they're scrolling through their newsfeed, you happen to stop it. And they stopped, they stopped and they started watching what Kevin was, 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 was doing, whether it was a listing, whether it was an open house, whatever you were filming, they sat there and they watched a minute and 15 seconds. Let's just say, for example, they didn't click. They just kept going, but you stop their scroll, right? You stop their scroll for a good amount of time. You want to put those people in an audience because when you put them in a custom audience, you're going to be able to show them your next video which is what you want to do. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to create audiences around people who only watch three seconds. If it's a four minute and 41, 41 second video, I'll create an audience of people who watch at least a minute. Well, let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause I thought about that and you know, things I'm trying to do in the near future. So if someone watches the video, but they don't take action um, as far as retargeting, is the per per person cost different? Is it cheaper? Yes, yes, yes. Good, okay. good, good question, Kev. Heck yeah, it is. Because now Facebook, let's say for example, again, I sat here and I watched two minutes of the video. So when he runs another ad and he retargets everyone in this audience who watched two minutes of his last video, Facebook is looking that looking at that as a warm audience which is a lower cost per lead a, or a lower cost per click or lower cost per view. Okay. So yeah. So that's why retargeting is what it's all about. Retargeting the audiences. That's one type of custom audience. The other type of custom audience. And again, we'll go into more of this on call three, but the other type of call audience is when people click learn more and they come over to your landing page. Let's say you were promoting a, 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 a seller guide. Or let's say you were promoting an, a, a, a listing. Let's say you were promoting a listing. You were on video talking about a listing. I click on the ad. I click on learn more. I come over to your page, get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. A few bullet points, click that button. Here's what's going to happen. And it happens with anything. As people see your ad, they click. X amount of people are going to come here and leave. But for that person to get that far, you saw my video, you clicked the button, you came over here, you just didn't fill out the form for whatever reason. You might have been driving, babies are screaming in the back seat, food is burning on the stove, whatever. You're, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't fill it out for whatever reason, but you landed there. These are people who are put in a custom audience, and we name that audience web page visitors. So now when I go run my next ad, I target them because those are people who landed here, but haven't filled out the form. Now let's say, for example, a person comes here and they fill out the form. They put their name and email and they come over here to this page. Every page is very specific. Every page has its own URL. Another custom audience are going to be people who land here. So now, as I go set up my next custom audience, I'm going to name this custom audience listing leads. And those are people that now, as I go run my next ad, I'm going to exclude that audience from ever seeing another ad. Because I already got their information. I already got their lead. If anything, I need to be communicating with them via email. I don't need to be spending money targeting them on Facebook anymore because they're already a lead. Let me now exclude them from seeing future ads. So your audiences is what it's all about. Your audiences, retargeting your audiences, which, 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 it, which, which is another form of including them in your future targeting. And then also excluding audiences from future targeting as well. This is one page that you'll always want to exclude. You don't want to keep hitting your leads on Facebook, right? They're already leads. Mm-hmm. So, so that applies for a listing, that applies for an open house, it applies for a seller guide, a buyer guide, whatever. Anyone who goes through your pipe and lands on the destination page, put them in an audience and exclude them from seeing future ads. That's going to make your, that, that's what also makes your ad budget drastically drop because you're, you're no longer targeting people who, who, who don't need to be targeted anymore. You know, so, 
So go ahead and share your screen. So that's that's what I wanted to show you on the audiences. They're very, very important. Video audiences, landing page, visitors only audiences, and then um, and then people who land on that thank you page audience um, that you'll always exclude. So go ahead and bookmark this page. This is We're gonna bookmark this one and we're gonna call this one custom audiences. That's what this is gonna be, custom audiences. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now here's the next one. Hit that, hit those dots again to the left. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on, um, let's go to, let's go to events manager. There's a couple things in the events manager that we're going to, we're going to, we're going to bookmark. Um, and one of them is going to be your pixel. So knowing where your pixels at, being able to get to your pixel right away, because that pixel is going to go on everything on all your pages that pixel goes on everything. So let's go ahead and we're going to set it up and we're going to set this up on our second call. So our second call is going to be all pixels, but I want you to bookmark it just so we can get to it quick because this is a page you'll always want to get to quick is your pixel. So go to bookmark this one and let's name this one Facebook pixel. Perfect. And so as you click on that, that blue button, which we'll do on our second call, um, do you have what what are you using for lead capture pages do you do you have anything any like do you have a kb core or anything like that um well as far as lead capture whatever um fields that populate so like if i run an ad on facebook right now whatever forms they have whatever the drop downs um then i would select the questions are you trying to buy in the next 90 okay. days okay um Coa banker also have a relationship with some third party, mm -hmm. um, Tiger Pistol or something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I've done ads through them as well. But what I notice is sometimes it's not successful and yeah. I think it's, it's for various reasons. So yeah. running the ads organic through my account makes more sense because they charge like what? $129 for seven days. Like- Yeah, no just, man, yeah. It's seven, 14 and then 30, so. Yeah. You, you're no, you're gonna know how to do everything yourself. Like you don't need any third party like that. Um, and so what you've done in the past then is you've ran lead generation ads where you're using Correct. Facebook's form. You're using their form and, and the little questionnaire or whatever, that's Facebook's lead generation ad form. Um, what you wanna do is you want to get your own. You want to have your own landing page type of software because there's many different, pages that you can you can build that you're going to want to build for is like an open house a listing a, a seller guide whatever like a buyer's list you can create different pages and and that's what you want to drive people to so as you click on ads and you can you can even put this to the test like as you're in your news feed and do this later on go to your news feed and start clicking on ads start clicking on them just just to see where it takes you click on learn more see where it takes you even if it's a random ad that doesn't even apply to you like even if it's irrelevant and, and you're not even interested in the damn whatever they're offering click on it click on it and see where they take you nine and a half out of ten people and i don't know where i get the half from but nine and a half out of ten will take you to a landing page they'll take you off of facebook to a separate independent web page that's a landing page one person out there will be running ads like you and using facebook's form and so the biggest difference is the fact that when you use Facebook's form, there's just more, more things involved because once that, once you do capture that lead, that lead is now in Facebook. So as you go to your business page, you can look at the leads on your, on your business page. And, and those were, that's where you capture all the leads. But what you have to do is you now have to export those leads and you're going to have to put them in some type of email autoresponder. Mm -hmm. that's where everyone drops the ball, man. That's where most drop the ball. That's where 99% of people drop the ball is they don't have any follow-up game because upfront, not everyone's going to give you their phone number. So those leads, if you're capturing leads through the, through the Facebook form, not everyone's going to give you their phone number. They'll all give you their email, but not everyone's going to give you their phone number. Now, if it's a listing, maybe, maybe for sure you'll get phone numbers. If it's a listing, someone's interested in that property for sure. Call, they want, they want to call right back. So if, if it's something like that, then, then maybe you can get phone numbers successfully, but most of the, most of the campaigns that you'll run, 
phone numbers are not, people are not giving up their phone number right away. So it's the email that we're getting. So if I'm getting that email, I need to have an email automation in place because I can't be physically emailing these people every damn day. Like I'm not going to do that, especially if I'm capturing a lot of leads. I need some type of automation. So the reason why I don't use the Facebook lead form is because I then have to go get a software called Zapier and you got to pay for that. It's like 30, 35 bucks a month for just an inter just it's, it's a third party integration. And all mm -hmm. it, all it does is it, is it, it automatically transfers the lead off of Facebook into your email autoresponder. So you need that type of, of software to take, to export that lead, or you're going to do it yourself. And so that's why I just don't even go that route. I just, I just go and get my own landing page software and, and I make sure that it comes with an email autoresponder, which, which it does. And then, and then, and then, and then that all happens automatically. So the moment they click on my ad, they go to my landing page, they enter their name and email, that name and email is already in my CRM. It's already in my email autoresponder. And that leads already getting emails like instantly without me doing anything. Mm -hmm. Like that's what, what you need. You need a landing page software. Um, you need an email autoresponder. And then the third thing that you need for sure, because of your business, you need an online calendar because we're trying to get people to schedule calls. I'm trying to get people on the phone, right? Like, like I need to talk to people regarding buying and selling. So an online calendar is the most important. And so we'll get into more of this on our second call because that pixel is what you want to put on all these pages. So as we start to build out landing pages, that pixel is what goes on it. That's how Facebook starts tracking everything. So let's just, we bookmark this. We'll get to this on our second call. Um, and what I'll do is I'll send you, a, I'll send you a link to, to a 14 day trial. Most landing page softwares out there are about a hundred bucks a month. So you want to, you want to budget for that as well. If you're going to be running Facebook ads, like if you're going to be running Facebook ads, you need landing page software. But the one that I recommend is, is the same. It's, a, it's, it's 99 bucks a month, but it comes with everything else. So it's my mm -hmm. landing pages, it's my email autoresponder, and it's my online calendar. All three of those are all in one for, the, for 99, 99 bucks a month. And so if you're running ads, you need that. If you're not running ads all the time, then maybe you can, maybe you won't necessarily need it. But, but trust me, if you're running ads, if you're running ads, you're capturing leads, that's going to pay for itself. Yeah. So, so you want to budget for, for that and you want to budget for your ads, obviously. Um, but we'll get into that on our on our second call. And what what I what I highly recommend you do is just is just activate a 14 day trial. I'll send you the link and just set up a 14 day trial. But don't do it until until our second call. So whenever our second call is, maybe that morning, click on the link and activate it, activate a 14 day trial. Okay. Just so we could play around with it. You can keep it if you want. You don't need to. But but the good thing is is if you do keep it, then we're going to be capturing a ton of leads with it but you also for sure get all my time for free on teaching you how to use it. Okay. So that, that's another, another good investment, man, is that that's when I really get into it with you and I teach you everything about that. You can schedule as many calls as you want. Uh, my whole job is to help you succeed with that software. So the company sends me a little kickback. That's why I don't have to charge you for my time. Like they'll just, they, they, they pay me a little kickback to, to help you be successful with it. Okay, and, and it's, it's needed for Facebook advertising, man. That's where the pixel goes. The pixel goes on all those pages. So, so we bookmark this. We'll get back to this later. What we're going to do now is we're going to click on, we're going to click on or hover over the blue triangle to the left. We're going to bookmark another one over here, which is custom conversions. Here's where the magic is at, man. It's custom conversions. So as you went in, in fact, you know what? Okay. Let, yeah. Let's bookmark this real quick. And then, and then, and then let me, let me, and then we'll, we'll come back to it. So we'll call this one custom conversions. This right here is where the magic is, man, when it comes to generating leads. So this is what, again, I, I'll, I'll call it, I mean, it, is, it isn't 10 out of 10 people because, you know, you're the one, for example, that would use lead generation type of ads, but let's just call it nine, nine out of 10, nine out of 10 Facebook advertisers create a custom conversion and I'll show you what that is. And then they run conversion ads. So click on the dots to the top on the top left, click on the dots and let's go to the, let's go to the ads manager real quick, which is the dashboard. Let's just click on the ads manager, click on the green button. So once we set up a custom conversion, which I'll show you what that is, 
But once we do that, and we're going to do that on our third call. So as we go into our custom audiences and as we go into setting up a custom conversion, I want you to bookmark it now, but we're going to fill it out on our third call. But click on that green button. This, this one that says create. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click on the create. This is This is where it's all at, man. This is where it's all at. So when we set up a custom conversion, we're going to only be running conversion ads. So you were going with lead generation before. Yeah, I was clicking this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The magic is is, is conversions. That's where you end up capturing okay. more leads than you can handle conversions. But again, the reason why the landing page and the email autoresponder is so important because as I capture these leads, I don't want to have to lift a finger. Like I don't want to have to export nothing. I don't want to have to import anything like manually. That's what you would have to do with lead generation. Those leads are inside of Facebook. Now you got to export them and import them into some CRM. That's too, I don't, I ain't got the time for that. I don't want to do that. So I'm, I'm going to run conversions. I'm going to set everything up autom automatically and I'm going to let these leads continue to be dripped on via email automation. And that's where, again, that's where everyone drops the ball. They capture the lead, but because they're not getting the phone number right away, they just got maybe an email. You'll try to email that lead. They don't reply. You'll try to email them again. It's like, dude, that's too much physical work. Like we need to automate those emails and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and tell them a story via email automation to get people to schedule appointments. So, so it's conversions. That's the one we're going to go with. Here's what a conversion is. Let me, let me share my screen again, go ahead and stop share. And let's go back to, um, let's go back to this page over here, the listing one. Okay. So for example, here, here's, here's the ad, right? Here's the ad again. When it comes to Facebook, man, Facebook is very, very specific, like very specific when it comes to what we're looking to do, okay? When it comes to what our objective, being a real estate agent, our objective is to capture a lead, bottom line. I need an interested buyer or I need an interested seller. Bottom line, there's really nothing else to it. Like I need a damn lead. That's, that's what I'm shooting for. Facebook is a lead. Generate me a lead. Okay, so if that's, if that's the goal, here's what's going on. As we run the, the video ad or the ad image ad, whatever, and I click on learn more and I come over to this page, that's goal number one. Goal number one is to get them to obviously watch a little bit of it or, or just to click, forget about watching it. Goal number one is to get them to click learn more. They click on learn more, they come to our one page. That's our goal, right? That's our goal. We, mm -hmm. we accomplished our goal. Facebook, they wanna know what's Kevin's ultimate goal. Like, what is your ultimate goal? The ultimate goal is to get them to click the button and land over here. Okay, well, what is here? Here is here. This specific link right there. So I'm telling Facebook, hey, man, I'm not going to pay you just to get me people here. I'm only willing to pay you, Facebook, if you can get me people here. And I'm going to tell you where here is. And so I take this link and I go set up a custom conversion. So okay. when we go and run conversion ads, we're telling Facebook about this page. Now we're going to give Facebook this link over here as well, because when they click on learn more, Facebook needs to know where they, where they're going. So Facebook's going to know about this link as well. But when we run that ad, we're only running it to pay to get people here. That's a conversion. Anyone that lands over here must've filled out the form, right? Very specific, very specific. So this is a custom conversion. A custom conversion is based on the link that you're trying to get them to, the ultimate goal, the destination. And the same thing applies for a calendar. So if, if I'm running, running um, ads and I'm trying to get people to, to schedule appointments with me, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm shooting for appointments. I need people to, to, to schedule a call. Okay, well, when they come over here, let's say they see my ad, they click on the ad, they come to my calendar. Okay, that's one link. But where's, what's the ultimate goal? The ultimate goal is to get them to schedule and go through the process. So here's the deal. They come here, they schedule, they click on next. They click on next. They're going through my process. They confirm here. And this is the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to get people to this page. Mm -hmm. So the same with appointments. If I'm shooting for appointments, I'm going to set up a custom conversion around this link. I'm going to go and run a conversion ad based on 
this page. So now I'm telling Facebook where I really need them to get to. That's how I get appointments all damn day is running conversion ads and setting up a custom conversion. So go ahead and share your screen again. And, and we'll, and that's why the custom conversion and the custom audiences are based around pages. So you're going to, you're going to, you're going to need some type of landing page software. And again, the one that I have is, is there's a 14 day trial. So we can play around with it for 14 days and, and, and really get the hang of it. And then you can, you know, if, if you really go all in with Facebook ads, you can decide to keep it from there or not, you know, so, but I highly recommend it, man. It's what I built my entire YouTube channel around is talking about that landing page software. Mm -hmm. um, it's the best of the best, man. And there's, there's great ones out there, but the, the thing is with most of them is that most of them are a hundred bucks just for the landing page. So like ClickFunnels, for example, very, very popular one, ClickFunnels in the marketing world, very, very popular, but it's 99 bucks or it's, it's like, yeah, it's, it's hundred bucks, 90, 97 bucks a month just for the landing pages. Then I have to go get an email autoresponder. Then I have to go get an online calendar. And those are, those are two more fees, monthly fees. So I don't want three monthly fees. I'd rather just have one and have it come with everything. Okay. And, and so that's the one that I'll send you a link on, but so let's look at the folder real quick. Where's the folder? Let's go back to the folder and let's see what we got bookmarked. Actually, no, not, not that one, but click on, um, yeah, that, that should have already been bookmarked, but let's click on the folder. Let's go back to your folder, your ads manager, FB folder. So I think we got to click on the dots to the right, the top right, click on those dots and let's go look at your folder above those dots above. Yeah, that one. So favorites, I wonder if you can bring your folder up. Normally you can bring it up to your bookmarks bar or just maybe see if you could just drag it up to the top. See, yeah, there's, there's ads manager. See if you could just click on it and drag it up. Yeah. Yeah, maybe put it again up right there by Zemus or whatever. That way you can get to it quick. That's all. Um... Yeah, not the star, but it would be. We go back here. Yeah. Uh, favorites. Yeah, you you wanted to drop it right below the Zimas or something like that, or unless I mean yeah, it's I up to you. It's up to you. I mean, I just want you to be able to get to it quick. That's all. Just, just it's yeah, just it's fine for now. I mean, yeah, I'll, play, I'll play with it. Okay, so let's let's look at it one more time though. Let's see what we got bookmarked in there. Let's just review that real quick. So let's just go back down to it. So normally you have you have seven, which will which we'll bookmark the seventh one. We'll just bookmark it to bookmark it. But what we got is we got dashboard, we got billing, we got custom audiences, we got your pixel, we got the custom conversions, and then we got the go ahead and get rid of that that bottom one, ads manager to the left, the ads manager dash ma manage ads dash campaigns. Hold on. We, um, it's not it looks like there's nothing in there. Well, it's to the left. It's to the left. You see everything to the left. No, it's, um, it, 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 it's there. It's just to the left. You see it to the left? No, I'm clicking. Um, are you, are no, you, you don't got to click on it. It's already pulled up. It's everything to the left. Dashboard, billing. I see everything to the left. Or maybe my screen is frozen. <laughs> oh, I see it now. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Dashboard, billing. So get rid of that bottom one. Ads manager, right click and just delete that one. Yeah, so so we got, yeah, just hover over it. We got dashboard, we got billing, custom audiences, pixel, custom conversion. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the one that we're missing is the um, the ad accounts and the business settings. So let's just okay. let's click on let's click on the dots to the left and the top left. Let's go to um, let's click on ad accounts. So over here, like I like, I mean, I, I, I don't mean to like, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not all that in this at all. Like I know a lot, but I don't know it all. Like I'm gonna keep it real. Like, I don't know everything about this damn thing. Like mm -hmm. there's so much more to learn, but at the same time, I've uh, me, myself, I invested thousands of dollars in coaches to learn all this stuff. So I know a lot, I know a lot, but every now and then, every now and then you'll have some random freaking thing that happened and you'll have to reach out to Facebook. You're going to always be able to reach out to me. Like, I'm going to always be here for you. Like, you, you can schedule a call with me whenever you need me for any of this stuff. 
and, mm-hmm. and I'll help you every way I can. But sometimes I'm stuck myself on, on what the heck, like, like if, it, if an account gets disabled and they shut down your account for whatever reason, like that's a, that's a Facebook issue. You got, you're going to have to reach out to them. Like, so in, in cases like that, whenever you reach out to Facebook, the most important number is that ad account number that you see right there. One, one, two, that's, that's your, that's like your ID number. That's like your driver's license number in the Facebook world. So if you reach out to them, they're going to want to know what is your ad, ad account ID number. So bookmark this page. This page is very, very important, or that number is very, very important. Um, and you want to bookmark this. I even went the extra mile and I even emailed it to myself. So I have it saved in my email, you know, just for, just, just for another backup you know, because that's, that's, that's a very important number. Call it add, I add account ID. Perfect. Add account ID. So that's, that's it right there. And then um, the last one we'll click on is the business settings. So click on the left, the dots, and let's just go to the business settings. And that's, that, that's your, your business settings for the Kevin However, everything else is in here as well. So, so click on, like, click on, for example, do you have an Instagram account? Uh, yeah. Okay. So click on, click on pages right there to the left. Click on pages. Perfect. So you got your name all, all tied up right there. That's good. Click on Instagram accounts. Okay, so you're good. You're good here. You're good here. So, so any ad that's ran on Facebook can be ran on Instagram, um, and and whenever you do do that in the future, like you want to run them separately. And and I'll we'll get into that more on on call number four. But okay. when we run ads, you want to run one specifically only to Instagram, and then one you know other ones straight to Facebook. A lot of people try to mix them, but you want to you want to separate them. And and we're gonna go into that on call four when we go into multiple ad sets and really how to start targeting our audience. We'll do that on, on call number four. But what I want you to do here is just click on, click on people right there at the top and then bookmark it from there. Click on, on, on people right above users. There you go. And let's just bookmark it from right here. Let's, let's call this one. Let's bookmark this one and let's call this one business settings. There you go. Business settings. Okay. So now what we just looked at Kev were the only, only seven things. So let's go click on the, the dots to the, to the top right. And let's go back to favorites. Let's look at that folder one last time. These are the only seven things, man, you'll ever, ever, ever need to click on. Like all this other stuff to the left, partners, system users, like business assets, groups, apps, like all this random stuff, man, you're not gonna ever need, like ever. We got dashboard, we got billing, we got custom audiences, pixel, custom conversions, ad account, and business settings. That is it. There is nothing else to know about Facebook. Now, as we go into our future calls, we're going to start filling all that in. We're going to start filling in our custom audiences. We're going to set up our custom conversion. We're going to take our pixel and put them on all the pages. We're going to go to the dashboard on call number four. We'll go into the dashboard and run some ads. Actually, we run our, we run our actual ad on call five, but, but, but on call four, on call four is when I teach you how to target and, and, and teach you how to set up different targeting. It's what, it's what they call ad sets on how we run multiple ad sets, which is our targeting. We're going to do all that on call four. And then on call five, we'll really go through the dashboard and run a real ad and run it the right way. So, okay. so that's this call, Kev, where we just bookmark. I give you a tutorial on all this stuff and show you the most important things you'll ever need to know. And it's those seven buttons right there. So on our next call, we got it. We got to set up that landing page software. So I'll just email you the link. I'll email you the link now. So you can, you can just kind of take a look at it, but I want you to really activate it on the day of our second call. That way you, you fully take advantage of the 14 day trial. Okay. Right. Like I don't want you to set it up now and then we don't talk till Thursday and then boom, you know, there's already days yeah. wasted on the trial. Yeah, right? You so, lost a few days, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I want you to take that full 14 day trial. Um, but with that, with that system, with that landing page software, you got all of my support. You got all my time for free. Also, the company 
and that's to teach you how to use all of it. I can give you, we can, you know, set as many calls as, as needed. I could teach you everything about that. And then I have a ton of funnels that are already done for you. So mm -hmm. I have all the listing funnel, open house, seller guide. I have, I have so many funnels that are already done for you where all I got to do is transfer them to your account. So that's okay. another, another added bonus. But then also the company has live Q and a coaching calls every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 PM Pacific. But if you can't make them live, they send you the, re the, the recording. So that's where I learned everything. I've been on that software for two years now. And I just, I just jump on these calls every week and that's how I, how I learned. But now I, I I'm teaching people how to do it, you know, how, how to use it. Um, but then all, and then also we have a Facebook group with like 21,000 people in it that are, that are all on that software. So you can ask a question on Facebook and boom, someone will, you know, you'll have like 15 people reply right away. So the support with the landing page software is ridiculous is all I'm saying. Okay. Activate, I'll email you, email you the link here when we're done. And then I'll, I'll send you the, the recording for this video tonight. Okay. Perfect. So you'll get this recording tonight and then just schedule our next call. Um, when you can, man, let's, let's chat. Let's, let's knock these calls out so you can get these ads going and, and start making some money. Uh, will you send me a link to um, make the next appointment or how do yes, I Yes, 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 yes. I'll, 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 I'll send you that. And then I want you to bookmark my calendar as well. So bookmark my calendar, maybe throw it in the ads manager folder, you know, bookmark my calendar. So you'll always be able to, you know, schedule calls when needed. Okay. Cool. All right, Kev, man. Any, any, any questions on any of this? I think it was good. I like, you, you know, step by step, you're setting the foundation. Uh, yes, uh, man. Yes. I'm going to see how many I could cause I can schedule next week to kind of ramp it up and yeah, maybe do something for the end of the year. So let's do it, man. Uh, let's do it. I'm excited for you, Kev. In an hour and a half or so. So I uh, have a few deals I'm working on, but I'm excited about getting this yeah. going. You know? Let's do it, man. All right, Kev. Have a great weekend, man. I'll email you everything shortly. All right. Thanks, Dave. All right, boss. You're welcome. Bye-bye.